What is up, YouTube? I'm Cordy. We're going to be covering three very interesting deck profiles. Really, they've just been on the back burner for the week. So the first one here is Team Bortles' first place list coming out of the Lubbock, Texas Regional. Yeah. So if you guys haven't checked out our boy Team Bortle, link is going to be down below. Please do go subscribe to his channel and, you know, show some love to the man. He's just starting to get his subscriber count rolling in. Any extra subs he can get is always greatly appreciated. So, basically we're approaching this deck in a very interesting way. Of course, with Mystic Mind Abuse, I know. So many people are like, oh, really? Also, interesting note, he's playing triple or two copies of Frozen Rose to add a level 4 lower plant monster from his deck to his hand. You know who's plant? Yes, Dianea. So, we're going to kind of dig into this, see what's really crackalack in here with this. So, we have one artifact, Scythe, to stop those pesky summons. Only two copies of Phantasme. Two seems to be the magic number of this format. It's kind of interesting. A lot of players just have not really opted to play all that many of this. Then we have the one copy of the Atrax, giving you the ability to activate normal trap holes from your hand. It's pretty good. Then we have triple copies of Dianea. Uh, so basically the thing we care about here is on normal, you target a trap tricks monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense mode. And then if this card is special summon, you target one whole normal trap card in your graveyard and set it back, but it gets banished. So... Here's what we care about here. You can search this off of the Frozen Rose to grant you extenders, and of course, you know, beautiful OTK potential built into the deck. It's so cheesy. Then we have the triple copies of Mantis. On normal, add a Trap Tricks monster from your deck to your hand. So this is our tutor. And then you can uh, tribute this, or you can target one set spell trap card. You control return it to the hand and then set one. I was off there. And then uh, we have the triple Myra Melio, of course. On summon, recruit for that normal trap hole and then on special pop a back row this card's honestly probably one of the better ones you got and then for spells triple demise of the land because we want to stall out our opponent with mystic mine one copy of double or nothing for the otk factor two copies of frozen rose to search for diana and triple copies of the otk preventer mystic mine and we have two copies of artifact sync i'm surprised he didn't play three of this but i get it triple compulse one floodgate two lost whim one metaverse Triple copies of Ojama Trio. Giving your opponent this under Mystic Mine is quite hilarious, actually. We have triple copies of Shade Brigadine, two Trap Trick, and one copy of Treacherous Trap Hole. Wrapping up the main deck here. Down here in the extra deck, we have two copies of Sarah, one copy of Pendastag. Then we have the one Unicorn, the one Phoenix, and the one Cerberus, along with the one IP, the one Boral Sword. The one Tornado Dragon, the one Time Thief Redoer, one Utopia of Lightning, one Utopia Double, and one Utopia, along with the one Abyssal. Actually, kind of surprised that we didn't actually see the a uh, use of the Trap Tricks Link Monster, or the Xyz. So I get a triple Ansia, triple Nibiru, triple copies of Evenly Matched, triple Heavy Storm Duster, triple copies of Solemn Judgment. Wrapping up Team Bortles list. I know a lot of people are like, "Oh yeah, it's Mystic Mind, like Dex Generate. It's Trap Tricks, guys." The deck actually got the chance to do something out of it, and I think it's incredibly cool. We actually got the chance to see this. Like, no, congratulations, Team Bortle. I look forward to seeing other cool, crazy ideas kind of come out into the open. You can tell the ratios on this deck feel a little bit weird, you know, the two of this, the two of this, but I mean, like, what real room do you have to kind of cut around and maneuver for these card choices like that's the question i ask here also seeing that frozen rose can actually tutor for this is really good synergy i like that quite a lot all right next up we have the weather painter list coming out of sixth place at omaha nebraska i believe yeah sixth place piloted by von hummerding so weather painter has kind of been on like the back burner for a little while. Um, we've seen this deck, uh, this is what, it's second? No, I think it's its third regional top, actually it should be its second. It, it's either the second or the third regional top eight for this, um, actually, which is incredible, you know, seeing that this deck actually does well. And honestly, sixth place is nothing to really scoff at, like, it's really good. Uh, this deck actually gets to abuse, lose one turn, activate this card only 
You can currently control no special summon monsters. While a monster is face up on the field, negate its effect during the turn that monster was special summoned. If an effect monster is special summoned in attack position, it gets to go to defense mode. Literally lose one turn. So, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom. Enjoy spring. One copy of the Weather Painter Aurora. Two copies of Weather Painter Cloud. Triple copies of the Weather Painter Snow. And then we have the one copy of the Weather Painter Sun. Triple copies of the Weather Painter Thunder. That's all you need. That, that's your monster lineup. Spells, we have two copies of Pot of Duality. Triple copies of Pot of Extravagance. One copy of the Weather Rainy Canvas. Then we have triple copies of Snowy Canvas. Traps, two copies of Drowning Mirror Force. Because 95% of the time, you're not going to have monsters on the field. You're basically going to blink them all out for the effects of your canvases. So you basically just get to troll your opponent when they swing in for a direct attack um, with Drowning. Which actually should put you in a very good position to start trying to win the game. Then we have triple copies of Lose One Turn. One copy of Macro Cosmo. One Skill Drain. And triple copies of Psalm Steerike. Two copies of the Weathered Rainbow Canvas. And then two Thundery Canvas. Triple Torrential Tribute. And two copies of Waking the Dragon. Shout out to Torrential Tribute. Actually seeing this as a tech option for this deck is really spicy. I actually really like this. Because you, you'll just blink out all of your canvas guys. And if your opponent still has you know a way to kind of combo extend, you just Torrential Tribute off and go. Down in the extra deck, we have triple copies of the Weather Painter Rainbow. But of course. One copy of Phoenix. One Hita. And one Boral Sword. Two copies of Ultimate Falcon. Are we actually able, are we, we going to resolve double copies of this? I guess our main reasoning for playing two is because of Extrav. Now we have the one Crystal Wing, one copy of The Last Way from Another Planet, one Starving Venom, one Violet Chimera, one Exterior, one Mud Dragon, and one Mega Fleet. And then we also have one Metaltron, the Draco Combatant. Ooh. So the fact that you could just actually roll this out off of two canvases and a monster for triple immunity is hilarious. I think this is like one of the only decks that can actually do that. Then we have triple Nibiru, triple copies of Cosmic, triple Super Poly, triple even the matched, and two copies of Infinite Permanence, wrapping up Vaughn's beautiful list. This is actually very interesting. I'm kind of curious to see what more Weather Painters will get the chance to actually do in the near future here. And then the last list we have here is a Subterror, or Wind Witch subterror list coming out of a regional and i saw this on uh carl Andre store i was like what we're actually we've brought back the wind witch engine because you know burning your opponent off for some excess damage making a crystal wing it's basically you know indestructible is really cute like a lot of your standard metagame decks are going to struggle you know out this also being able to just target a face up source from the monster from the extra deck and bling it down to zero and the crystal wing over it for extra damage like you're pushing for like 4k on this like for most people that forgot about this engine like it's still really good so we have two copies of ash blossom enjoy spring triple copies of effect valor and two copies of ghost ogre and snow rabbit along with triple copies of the sub terror fiendus triple copies of guru one nemesis archer and then for our witchcraft or our wind witch engine i want to call these guys witchcraft we have two copies of glass bell triple copies of ice bell and one copy of the Snow Bell. Spells, we have two copies of Call by the Grave, triple copies of Pot of Extrav, two copies of Super Polymerization, one Terraforming, and triple copies of The Hidden City. And then traps, we have triple copies of Infinite Permanence, triple Solemn Judgment, triple copies of Solemn Strike, and we have two copies of Subterra Succession. So activate one of these effects. Also, after that effect resolves, you can set one. So you can summon a monster from your hand or face up on the field of the graveyard, and if you do, Add one flip monster from your deck to your hand with the same attribute, but a different name. Or you can f send one flip summon monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. You do add one monster from your deck to your hand with the same name and attribute. Huh. Interesting. Is this, is this a searcher? <laughs> Down here in the extra deck, we have two Winter Bell. Two copies of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Two copies of Clear Wing Fast Dragon. And then triple Starving Venom, triple Dragus to Poly, and triple copies of Diplex or Chimera. Diplex or Chimera, for those of you who are like, oh man, this card doesn't seem good, you can super poly this against Marincess and just get free value. Like, card is so good. Side deck here, we have triple Pancratops, two copies of Ghost Bill, triple copies of Nibiru, one copy of Super Poly, triple Evenly Matched, and 
Triple Cloud Beast of Heavy Storm Duster, wrapping up this chunk of deck profiles. So congratulations, Team Bortle, for winning your event. Congratulations to seeing Weather Painters and the Wind Witch Engine seeing a little bit of play. What do you guys think about these decks? Please, if you comment down below, tell me what you guys think. Well, guys, I'm out. Do the ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome Vanguard content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.